welcome back to your own channel bal vikyan bharti and here is your mentor abhilash sarkar we are uh, progressing on uh, the chapter quadratic equation there we have uh, learned and the theory part of the quadratic equation is a very small uh, part that theory covers not much uh, is there to say so whatever problem uh, we will discuss further that will uh, possibly clear <coughs> uh, all um, doubts if it is there uh, regarding that quadratic equation there may be some questions may arise during solving the questions that is not uh, directly coming as a theory but it could, could be a you can say Uh, the, <coughs> the variation uh, variation of uh, or the variation of the uh, concept you can say so that may be may not be sometime uh, coming directly uh, as the theory being learned so uh, let us uh, learn uh, from the problem solving session and here is your first problem <coughs> that is coming to you is two candidates attempt uh sorry two candidates two candidates attempt to solve a quadratic equation to solve a quadratic equation the equation is said like this px plus q is equal to 0 <coughs> so one <coughs> starts with the wrong value starts with a wrong value of p of p okay and gets <coughs> Six as its root, as its root. Okay, root. Sorry, and and other starts with the wrong. Starts with. wrong value of <coughs> q and obtains two comma nine minus nine sorry the correct roots you have to find the find the correct roots okay find the correct roots now here there is a quadratic equation uh this one x square plus p x plus q this is the quadratic equation of zero is given but <coughs> the first <coughs> step now is try to solve it <coughs> as measure it the p we see starting with a uh, value uh, of p uh, wrong value of p that means he has made straight instead of p he has read something else but q has he has read correctly so due to that he got the two root 
this one. So I can assume that if the first one, let's say the person one, <coughs> the person one, <coughs> what he is doing, he is reading. Instead of P, he is reading something like let's say P dash x, but Q is reading <coughs> for person one, for person two. The same uh, <coughs> equation, this time he has read Q wrong. So P for him is right. But when he has read this P dash instead of P, he got root. How? Oh, what are those? 2 and 6. And there <coughs> is 1 minus 9. Now, Tell me one thing, means when this equation is formed and the roots are known, <coughs> as I said, the equation will be, let's say, as in the last theory class I told, if two roots are alpha and beta, and, <coughs> and x minus alpha and x minus beta are the <coughs> factor of those quadratic equation, then this can be the relation x min minus minus alpha x minus beta so what we have erased out from this x plus uh, uh, x minus alpha plus beta x and plus alpha beta so this will be the uh, formation <coughs> of the quadratic equation if the roots are known and that to the alpha and beta now in this case you can uh, understand the middle term along with means this can be written as plus of minus <coughs> whole thing <coughs> so in case the roots are known so this term will uh, will be achieved by the uh, by doing the um, sum of those roots followed by a negative sign okay and <coughs> this part uh, we will get by multiplying the roots. Now see in the first case as he read the Q part correctly that means from these two roots if I want to get Q so as per this equation Q must be equal to 2 into 6 <coughs> that is equal to 12 that is the correct one because only he has read this one wrong but this one is correct. So this anyhow for any quadratic equation if roots are being calculated if this is correct so that can be achieved by multiplying this okay so q is correct the similarly the second equation this part he has read correctly this part wrong so i don't bother because, but because we have two roots and we know how that p can be achieved by doing <coughs> minus of alpha plus beta so in this case alpha plus means minus 9 so this will be the minus of minus uh, alpha plus beta so when i do plus with minus 9 it is automatically minus 9 so this will give you minus 7 so minus minus plus 7 so ultimately p will be because i know the equation is in the form of plus px and so whatever value of p i am getting i directly are putting so <coughs> now as I know the Q is 12 and P is 7, the, these are the correct values. So then in this case, <coughs> the equation which are given as P, uh, sorry, x square plus Px plus Q is equal to 0. The real equation would be <coughs> x square plus <coughs> P, what we have got? From the first equation, uh, uh, P we have got 7x, 7x plus here Q we have got 12. So this is the equation. Now from here, if we solve this, we will get the correct root because we know the correct equation. So how do you solve? There could be so many methods. Let me try with the uh, factorizer method. So x square because that is the most important and interesting and if you can do it, can practice and if you can do it that will build you more confidence on this subject okay so this uh, what is the factor of 12 1 into 12 2 into 6 
3 into 4. Okay, these are the factors. Now 7 can be achieved by this. No other uh, adding will give you 7. So this will be a straightforward thing. 3 plus 4 into x plus 12 is equal to 0. Now I will break it, I'll break that bracket and we'll get 4x plus 12. Now from plus 2 term, I take x common x plus 3 and from the second two term I will take 4 common so that is x plus 3 again is equal to 0 fine so from this two x plus 3 again common x plus 4 is equal to 0 understood so <clears throat> or else if you don't want to solve up to this by when I break it in this form means from this equation from this part also I can solve I can take out the roots also how would you do that because any quadratic equation in the form of this will tell you something what is the that means this and this is equal to alpha and 2 beta this is equal to the 12 so and possibility is that alpha plus beta I am getting 3 plus 4 means minus obviously means actually this would be minus alpha plus beta so this has to be added with minus so now you see alpha plus beta is equal to minus 3 minus 4 so if I take alpha is equal to minus 3 and beta is equal to minus 4 this also will satisfy this so from this also I can say the, the correct roots uh, are uh, <coughs> alpha is equal to minus 3 and <coughs> beta is equal to minus 4 so minus 3 and 4 so absolutely will be minus 3 comma minus 4 understood so after that you need not to do further or else if you will continue the last step you got x plus 3 x plus 4 is equal to 0 so I either either is equal to 0 or both are 0 so taking x plus 3 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 3 taking x plus 4 is equal to 0 we will get x is equal to minus 4 <coughs> ok fine we will move into the next problem <coughs>
there could be so many multiples 5 10 15 and so on but the condition is that the integral multiple of 5 to successive that means 1 1 if it is there 5x so it could be the any value x is any natural number okay so for that if x is equal to 1 is equal to 5 is equal to 10 so like that so first number if it is if it is 5x the successive number which is multiple of 5 definitely be what 5x plus 5 because the next number will be multiple of 5 that means it will be added 5 only so this is the condition now the condition is that as per the condition 5 plus 5x plus 5 is equal to 300 or why because the multiple of 5 is the two successive integral multiple of 5 is 300 so I am multiplying getting 300 okay now 5 this 5 will take I will take common x into x plus 1 will be there 300 now we can <coughs> cancel some of it <coughs> so how much 25 so in 100 it is 4 times in 300 it will be 12 times fine so x into x plus 1 here 12 now this will become a quadratic equation I will take a 12 this now this is perfectly quadratic equation now you have to find the roots of that so now one thing you have to think uh, for your for the future of this problem that as it is a quadratic equation there are possibilities of getting two correct answer okay so if it is the two correct answer there may be possibility there that there could be two pair which will make 300 okay so don't be, uh, be confused once you will get the so how to do that 12 can be 3 into 4 1 into 12 or 2 into 6 now see a is equal to 1 so what is the what could be the combination for which you will get means either you have to plus or minus you have to do plus or minus so 12 plus 1 13 12 minus 1 11 6 into 6 plus 2 8 6 minus 2 4 that also not done that also not done the only possibility is 3 and 4 in between now let's see 3 plus 4 is 7 that is definitely not 4 minus 3 <coughs> I am getting 1 so that would be my solution 4 minus 3 I will write it like that minus 12 is equal to 0 <coughs> now break it into the uh, fact, uh, uh, break down the bracket I, I will get this one so taking x common x plus 4 minus 3 into x plus 4 is equal to 0 that means x minus 3 into x plus 4 is equal to 0 now see so both can be 0 so if I take x minus 3 is equal to 0 I am getting x is equal to 3 so x is, is natural number fine, fine if I take x plus 4 is equal to 0 what I will get x is equal to minus 4 is it possible to count some natural any number the for x is equal to minus 4 as it is number in number line negative also okay but by taking it the successive number must be also of negative otherwise two multiple uh, two number multiplied together of different sign could not give you this so that would be possibly so first i take x is equal to 5 x is equal to 3 so that means the n1 will be what by taking this is equal to 15 and n2 will be <coughs> 20 now see if i multiply 15 to 20 i'll get 300 to the fine pair now x is equal to minus 4 if i take so if i take the x is equal to minus 4 so now we have already solved so i can rub it out so if i take x is equal to minus 4 so n <coughs> 1 will be minus 20 and n 2 will be what minus <coughs> uh, 20 
plus 5 so that means minus 15 now see if we multiply this then also I will get 300 so that means n1 is 15 and 20 and n1 is minus 20 it will be minus 15 so both are uh, correct solution and that is accepted okay so <coughs> Here also that situation has came in the, as in the last case I can break it into once you will be able to establish this part then after you need not to break it down bracket and take the common and all that from this this is nothing but alpha plus beta in minus form okay so that means this is equal to minus 4 plus 3 and what is this this is equal to alpha into beta that is equal to minus 12 that means <coughs> if I take alpha is equal to minus 4 then beta is equal to 3 ok so one solution is minus 4 minus 4 is possible and other other solution is 3 possible so by, by taking this by taking this that means this is giving x so n1 you know from that the similar way you can proceed ok so that and you need to break down and take commonness. You can escape this uh, this part if you have a command on that. If alpha means uh, roots are known, then similarly this part is telling minus of that. Once you are able to establish this part, further you need to calculate. So from there you can uh, correlate the uh, roots. Okay. <coughs> Okay, let me check any other. Okay. Okay. There are some uh, basic uh, question. Uh, now one of this out of this total, I will take the tougher one. Means out of this uh, questions. Now you have to say whether these are quadratic equation or not. You have to establish that. Uh, these are quadratic equation or not so our our target would be uh, to um, simplify this uh, total equation and have to see that i will get some um, variable that means here x in order of two at least one one uh, order two value uh, i should have in my equation otherwise I cannot say this so now this is square this is what minus or root 6 I can multiply that plus x square is equal to 3x square plus 5x <coughs> or now if I square it up this is 6x square plus x square is equal to 3x square plus 5x or if you take all this uh, one side so 6x plus 1x square, 7x square minus, so that means it is 4x square minus 5x is equal to 0. So ultimately I am getting some x with the order of 2. So definitely I can say this is quadratic equation. There is no question about that. Okay. <coughs> Choose the correct answer from the alternative value is divided by this. Then what is the remainder? Now, how come it is a
Okay, fine. I will wonder that I'm not getting much interesting problem online. Uh, so uh, let me uh, check if any other interesting problem is there. Then I will continue solving problem in this uh, subject. Otherwise, I will move on to the other subjects. Okay. So for now, uh, I will take uh, uh, leave from this class and I will join in the next class. Thank you.